Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I did a little bit of shopping this weekend, uh, Michael's, Joann's, and Hobby Lobby, kind of scouring the clearance sections and the sales for things that might work in my junk journals. I like to shop at Etsy and antique malls and other types of places like that for you know, vintage junk journal supplies. But I also like to fill in the gaps with things that I find at regular craft stores because there's a lot of things that can kind of fit in with the sort of junk journal look and the vintage look. Like, you know, I use scrapbook papers and, and other ephemera that kind of has a vintage look to it, but may not be vintage. And sometimes a lot of vintage things are hard to come by. So it's nice to kind of fill in with other things and then you can make a really nice, nice big book with lots of ephemera and things like that. So let me show you what I picked up. I first stopped at Michael's and they had in the back, they had a, a clearance section that had all kinds of random things. And I find that that's kind of the place to, to find stuff because it's maybe things that other people wouldn't think of using on like their scrapbook pages or something like that. But it's something that, maybe there's like one thing that stands out that might work for uh for junk journals but in this case i this was just they had some ribbon on sale in the clearance and i did like the look the colors that i chose this was a mint green lace ribbon and i thought this would be really pretty as a trim along the edge of a page and then i liked this too this is a very wide ribbon but it's got that canvas back with a mint green kind of lacy, doily looking ribbon going through the middle. And I thought this would be pretty for the front of a journal to decorate it, maybe along the seam or to cover up a seam. And I thought it's got a nice kind of neutral look to it. So I thought that was really pretty. I also picked up this ribbon. This was in the regular ribbon section, but I was drawn to it because it has this look, this kind of vintage look with these, these flowers. And it's just a white kind of... Uh, textured ribbon background and then it's got just the blue coral and pink flowers but a really nice kind of old-fashioned look to it and so I thought that would be really pretty too. Then I looked over in their springtime section and they had, I love using florals in junk journals so I'm always drawn to a lot of different types of floral things and they had the this kind of a floral theme. They have a bunch of different themes for springtime and one of them was this floral theme and they have a, had paper plates and napkins and cups and different things with this this pattern on them and I saw these coasters and I've been looking for vintage coasters and I've, I've actually waiting for some to arrive. I just picked some up but I like coasters because they, I think you can, a lot of them are either made of chipboard or something even thinner than that and they're nice. You could punch a hole and maybe add them to a as a page in a journal and just give some different kinds of texture and thickness and that type of thing. So I found these and they say cheers in the middle, but I was thinking, I, I love, I love these flowers so much. And I thought I could co maybe cover up the middle with something else and then just have the flowers sticking out over the top. And I don't know, I just, I really like these and there was quite a few that came in the pack. So I thought I'd be able to use them for something in the same pattern they had these place cards and these are really nice because I was thinking I could use them for a couple different things they kind of have a they're folded over like this so I was thinking you could use them as a page tab so kind of had them have them added to a page here or have it sticking up uh, off the top of a page too for like a little marker or something like that or you could have maybe some paper stuck to the bottom of it and have like a little note-taking area or journaling area so there's just a lot you could do with this and I just again love these flowers the colors are really pretty so I got those I also found these were on sale in there and also a thing I like to do too is go down every single aisle because you never know what you're going to find even if it doesn't seem like it would be scrapbook or journaling related you could find something that fits in and I like to go in the like wedding and uh, baking section because you can find doilies and things like that there and I found these glassine bags and they were on sale for some reason I'm not sure why but they're just really pretty it's just a really light pink polka dot 
and they're a nice thickness, but these would be great for, you could turn it into a page or add it as a, as a pocket. Um, lots of different uses. I use these bags a lot in journals. So definitely don't forget about the baking aisle. These clips, I just thought were pretty. They're, they were on an end cap and they, I think they're newer, but I love the hearts and they're acrylic. Little paper clips you can use for um, pages, that type of thing. And then I just picked up a couple of rolls of washi tape that kind of had a vintage look to them. These, this is like a red and white, and then this, these flowers are really pretty. And I like that how this is kind of thin. And then this blue is really pretty too. And I love blue, orange, and yellow together. I think those colors are pretty. And then this is just a nice kind of vintage look too. And I actually think this one, oh no, it's not fabric. I've been looking for the fabric washi tape. I have some of it here, but it, I'm running low and I can't, I used to get it at Michael's and I don't know if they still carry it anymore. So I've been kind of keeping my eyes open for that. So that was, that was Michael's. And then the next place I stopped at was Hobby Lobby and they were having a sale on the Tim Holtz, a lot of the Tim Holtz products. And I've talked about before, I don't use Tim Holtz a lot because of, I, I'm not, I'm not really drawn to the real dark looking kind of grunge vintage, vintage look, but he does have some things that caught my eye. So I'll show you what I, what I got. This ephemera pack is Stuffed. It's got everything in it. It's called Botanical. And let me just take it out and show you real quick some of the things that are in here. I was so surprised at all the bright colors. It's got butterflies. It's got all kinds of like beautiful flowers and all different. I mean, there's just tons in here. And I love that there's purple too because I love purple flowers. But really pretty bright colors. So I was excited to see this. And I mean, there's so much, I can't even take it all out. It's just stuff. So and they, they were, it was a good deal. And then this was so interesting. This is called Worn Wallpaper. And you get two of each of these designs and you get, again, a ton of it in here. And I can't figure out if it's actual wallpaper or if it's just paper that seems like wallpaper, but it sure feels like wallpaper. But it's, if you can see up close, it's got that texture of kind of old fashioned wallpaper and it has these really fun designs on them. So there's two of each. And there's just, it's, there's so many different designs. So, I mean, you could use these as a page just by itself, make a pocket. I mean, you could do so much with this. So I really like this too, this is a pretty neutral love this one. This is my favorite, I think. It's so old-fashioned and fun. I really like this. And these are so pretty, the flowers. I think I have these upside down. There we go. <laughs> okay, and these are so pretty, too. So this is a really fun find. I've never seen these before, and I was just kind of looking. They had, a, they had a lot of stuff, and so I saw wallpaper, and I was wondering what that was, and I just thought that, was, that would be perfect for journals. I went over to the, they have the, the, the super clearance rack and I kind of scoured through there and sometimes I can find wooden stamps in there and I really like wooden stamps, but I didn't, I wasn't really looking for that. So I was just kind of looking for some other things and I found these from the paper studio and I actually have a pack of these in green, but they were from, I think they were from Joann's. It's kind of the same idea. It's sort of a, it's a note card, an envelope that kind of, I don't think, you don't mail it, but it opens up like this. So sort of like pops open and then it's got the card right here. So you can write a message and then put the note card right in here and close it up. And this I thought was really pretty because it was gold. I have, the ones I have here are green and I've used those in a couple of journals and I really like them. So this is kind of a gold shimmery color and you get uh, six of them. And then this is a cream color that is really pretty. I mean, these were like a dollar for the whole pack. And it's the same, 
same thing. It kind of just opens up like this. And it's perfect for adding. You could do secret journaling in your journal or just provide, you know, provide a place for somebody to write something. So I thought that was a great find. I had talked about in my organization video that I'm not, I don't sew and I don't have a lot of fabric around. So I usually just pick up the fat quarters that they sell at Hobby Lobby and Michael's and those types of places. So I found, I got two of these. I just really like the, the floral print on this and it's kind of a light pink background. So I thought this would be pretty to, to cover the front of a journal with, so I got that. And then I was looking, I was down the aisle that sells all the felt. And I was look, actually looking for a bright yellow felt for another project. And I didn't quite find the color I wanted. And then I found this felt. And I never even knew that they had printed felt. <laughs> I think I don't shop for felt that much. And I found this, which is gorgeous. It's a thin, it's thin felt and it's kind of stiff. And it has this beautiful floral pattern on it. So I picked up three pieces of this because I know I, I can use them for pages, pockets, um, covering part of a page, I, just all kinds of things. So I thought this was pretty. And then they had another one that is this pattern and I picked up three of those. This is a bigger, a bigger size. So this will last, you're gonna get a lot out of this one. But I just love the colors in here. They're so pretty. And I never knew they made printed felt. So I'm glad I went down that aisle. And then, oh, I, I forgot, I got one more thing from the Tim Holtz sale. I really like these flat backed buttons. There, you can just glue them onto a page and it gives nice texture and it's like a little bright color. And th these colors were so pretty. I have a lot, in fact, I'll show you. I collect these little buttons and I keep them all in this little container. It's like my favorite little thing to look through. And I've collected these over many years and I just throw them in here. But I don't have any that are this kind of the lighter color. So I love the coral and the light green. So these will be nice to, to add to my collection. But these are great to put. You could put them on the edge of an envelope. So if you go to open an envelope that you have stuck in your journal, you can use it as like a little handle, um, decorate the side of a page, um, just anything. And it's nice because they're flat and you could just put a glue dot or hot glue on the back and it, it, it'll it stay stuck to your page. So, so th those were great to find. So that was everything from Hobby Lobby. And then I went to Joann's. And usually when I go to Joann's, I try to focus more on finding um, fabric because I have a lot of fabric choices so I did find some there and I actually just found one more thing that I got at Hobby Lobby these iron-on appliques so they're kind of uh, little iron-on flowers that I just glue on a page or something and they give a nice raised texture and they're kind of satiny looking and I like the bright colors so I thought this would be really pretty too and I found this down I can't remember which aisle it was. I don't know that it was with the felt. It was, it was kind of in that area, though, kind of the crafty aisle where they have the pom-poms and all the, the things that you can glue on to, to different things. So this was, this was down one of those aisles. So definitely take a walk down there and you can, you can find some good things. So Joann's was having a sale on the, they have the simplicity pattern the ladies from that simplicity pattern line and they had all kinds of stuff and I just I picked up the ribbon because I thought it's just a nice little just a little something you could put on a page and so I got all these ladies on here they were so pretty it's just a satin ribbon so it's nice to put on the edge of a page or again cover up a seam on the front of your journal I got three different kind oh no this is the same oh no these are different this has a lighter pink background. So, and they're just kind of in their vintage -y dresses and they're really pretty. Then I found this, this was a, another kind of random find. Um, this 
was down one of the aisles, kind of as, as you first walk in the store, um, kitchen papers. They were on clearance for $1.50. And I'm not sure what, I think these, you use these for to maybe to put on a plate. If you're going to put some cookies on a plate and you want to cover the plate with something. But um, it comes with 10 in there. And they're kind of a, they have like a waxy feeling to them. And I love the pattern and the shape. And I thought it would be perfect. You could just punch a hole in it and stick it right in your journal. Or decorate a page with it. Um, clip it to a page. Lots of things you can do with this. So I picked up two packs of these because they were so inexpensive. And you, they came with so many that I think I'll, I'll be able to use these a lot. Oh, and then I looked, I got some fabric. They had this really pretty vintage looking, the fat quarters over, I forget what this is. Um, I don't know what brand this is, but I picked up a couple of these, actually a few of these, because I know I love this pattern and I'll use this a lot. And then I got this, which is, I love the green color. It actually has an iguana on it, which I didn't realize that until I got it home. But so I don't know what, I'm not sure what this pattern is supposed to be, but I just like the, the variety of green tones on it. So, so I thought that would be pretty for kind of a springtime journal or something. So I got those. And then I picked up a few more glassine bags because I, I use these a lot. And these are really nice patterns. This is um, Place and Time. I don't know what's the brand, but this is a kind of a gingham pattern. And then I got a floral. This is from Park Lane. This floral is really pretty. And then this is uh, black and white. Is it black and white or navy? I think it's navy and white. But this, I like this really small floral pattern. So pockets, pages, um, things that you can put ephemera in. I, I really like those too. And then the last thing I got was just a couple of packs. They had some ephemera packs, the Park Lane brand. And... I like these because they're just different. They have some different things in them than you normally see in ephemera packs. This one had some vellum. And I also like the colors. Anything bright. I like to make bright colored journals. So I liked the, the bright colored butterflies. There's like the green, orange, and blue. And then this the vellum was really pretty. I don't know that I'll use everything in this pack, but most of the stuff in it I really like. So... So I thought there's just something something a little different that you don't see all the time. And then I got, this is another one that's kind of a floral themed. And I got this because of the birds. And the little bicycle. I thought that was so cute. This and then the, just the, again, the bright colored birds and flowers. I thought were really pretty. So I like to just add a little something to maybe the bottom corner of the page or something if I just want to keep a page in the journal mostly blank, but just have a little bit of color to it. Something like this adding to it I think looks nice. So that's the ephemera. And then I just got these. I thought these were cute. They were little shaker, shaker um, stickers. They're kind of raised. And they have shaker material inside. But again, I like the bright colored birds. The blue and the bright green. And then this is uh, butterflies and bees. And again, they have the little shaker material in them that I thought was cute. So that was cute. And then I just got uh, some floral mini cards and envelopes, which I think are fun to add to journals too and you can actually you know I use the envelope separately so glue the envelope onto a page and use that or decorate the envelope so you can kind of get double use out of this and then the little the little journal card you could add to a page stick it stick the back down and then you have a little little flip card that you can open and add some journaling to and it's just got a really nice nice bright cheerful pattern to it 
so that's pretty much it. I thought I had really good luck in the clearance and sales sections, and I found some some junk journal gems, as I like to say. I think it's it's nice to be able to kind of fill in the blanks, and then you have other vintage stuff that you can add, and then it just kind of it's a nice mix of a lot of different textures and colors and, and everything to go into a journal. So thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you in my next video.